after a full month deployment, the USS Lake Erie returned home to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam to the awaiting arms of family, friends, and fellow shipmates. While in the Western Pacific, the Lake Erie leveraged her accomplishments and proficiencies on the test range and defended the homeland and our allies on multiple ballistic missile defense operations. But their work being done, the vessel and crew were glad to be back. Aloha, Hawaii. <laughs> Uh, we're now back from uh, being forward deployed. It's been very exciting. A lot of operations forward. It's been, uh, it's been a wonderful trip. Crew performed for impeccably. We were able to take a ship that was just a ballistic missile defense ship and make her fully uh, capable. And where she specializes in just, in, she specializes in ballistic missile defense. Operating forward has been what, one of our dreams. And we got an opportunity to surge. We had just a couple of weeks to get ready and then we, we went forward. We were able to operate in Korea, Japan, uh, real, do real missions for defense of homeland, Hawaii, and also be able to operate with our uh, Korean counterparts. It's been very exciting. Uh, the ship, like I was telling somebody else earlier, it's just a $2 billion warship. Once you insert sailors, she becomes fully mission capable. And these sailors, uh, I, I was so proud to go with them and come back. They, they're so much more capable, and it was something that we absolutely needed. And uh, this, is, this is a crew I'd happily go to battle with. The Lake Erie is expected to replace the USS John Paul Jones this summer as a rotational ballistic missile defense deployer from San Diego. As the John Paul Jones takes Lake Erie's place in Hawaii as the nation's ballistic missile defense test ship. Captain Bannigan and his team made a difference. The crew stepped up and filled the critical need on this deployment, representing the epitome of the CNO's tenants. War fighting first, operate forward, be ready. The Lake Erie promoted peace and security, preserved freedom of the seas, and conducted theater security operations with partner nations. The U.S. Third Fleet leads naval forces in the Eastern Pacific from the west coast of North America to the international dateline and provides realistic, relevant training necessary for an effective global navy.